Hey everyone, so my friend Ben's come back and uh, lockdown restrictions have eased so it's, it's allowed now. So uh, we're going to get this back wall top coated and do all of the outside as well that we never got done when we did it before because it was too hot and it was cracking. So all of this, this ended up just being a, the first coat. So we're going to get all of this top coated. Um, just done a mix of plaster. Ben just got here after a long drive. And yeah, it's just damping down and we'll get a nice top coat on it. Did you manage to um, get into that fit? Yeah, yeah I, I, had to, I had to build it up quite a bit last time. Yeah, I managed it. Nice one. Right, we got our first mix done, so just not quite enough to finish this wall. Ben's gone all around the, the curvy door, it's looking cool. Just needs wire brushing up the door. Uh, Ben's just finishing off the uh, the top there, the awkward bit. Give it to him because he's a whipper snapper. Yeah, professional. Looking like a, I love these these curves. Yeah, graceful, love it. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to the outside once he's got that bit done. Bit's of right pain up there. Alright, <laughs> <clears throat> let's just do a little bit of recording of us starting yep. it. What side do you wanna do? Uh I don't mind it. I'll start. I can start it over there if you want. Yeah. I'll start it at that. See ya. Yeah, whatever. We'll start, so maybe start at the edge of the window, and then I'll do. I'll uh, work. Work, yeah. yeah. We'll both just work round, and then we'll do a leap from or something. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Hey everyone, so it's evening now, um, it's had a bit of time to dry. We didn't want to go all the way around here because it was going to end up being uh, right in the sun. We don't want that, so we're going to start that first thing in the morning. Uh, we just had a little shoot with a bow, bow and arrow. You can see there's a bow in the window there. I just bought a bow recently and getting into archery. 
So me and Ben just had a little shoot with that into some straw bales. But yeah, the plaster's drying really well, it's not cracking. Um, it was just too hot the first day we did it and we put it on a bit too thick. But yeah, it's working great now. So we're just going to carry on plastering around the corner and then we'll go on to doing that side. And I've got Ben over there just watering some plants. And we got a few ciders in the van. Hey Ben. And then we're going to, uh, yeah, have a sit in the workshop I think. Drink a cider, eat some dinner. Okay, it's the next day. It's all drying well. We've just done another mix. We're just going to carry on outside. How's the mix, Ben? It's right. Yeah, the mix is fine. <laughs> Health and safety at work. So for some reason, at this point, my microphone stopped uh, recording sound properly. So I thought I'd just do a quick voiceover of um, the technique me and Ben have found works really well for doing these um, complex curved um, buildings with, you know, earth bags, got undulating walls, um, we've got logs everywhere, you know, there's very um, little of it that's flat or smooth or square. Um, so we found the best technique to plaster is to use a flexible trowel. Um, use the trowel to get the bulk of the plaster on the wall and to smooth it out, you know, so it follows the contours roughly. Then we come along with a um, brick brush, which is what I'm doing there, and we use that then to knock off any high points and smooth it out a little bit more. Um, you want to do as little uh, working the surface as possible to stop the uh, lime coming to the surface, um, but obviously you have to do a little bit. So yeah, we then uh, brush it to um, form it to all the lines and then after we've um, finished doing the brushing and brushing it all you know into any little gaps that are missed and evening it out we then use a just slightly damp sponge which is I'll uh, I'll start doing that in a minute we start using just a just slightly damp sponge and uh, that then gives it a nice finish and smooths it off for the uh, edges we use just a very small brush just to get right in to tuck that lime right into the uh, edges of the timbers and get those lines really flowing beautifully and Ben's a bit of a pro at it and then uh, there we are going over with the sponge just to finalize it it just um, knocks off any high points and, and makes it look all even
Well, Ben has been an absolute lifesaver again because we've managed to top coat the entire outside and uh, the back wall of the inside. See, that's where we started from today. So we've just gone around the, uh, the door and everything. And Ben's just in the awkward bit around there. And we're just going to get finished off around there. And uh, that is it all top coated. Then it needs a lime wash, and then it's done. Plastering will be done then. That is going to be a real treat. Straight through the middle of the target. Again. Not bad for a, for a noob. Robin Hood. You're hitting it at least. Yeah, getting it this time. Oh, he got a can shot. Nice. Still need to aim left. There is a bit of a wind. Ain't bad. Oh, yeah. 50 pound recurve by. Aim it on the wind. Yeah, aim left a little bit. Not too much though. Still right. <laughs> well, that was quite fun. Good laugh. A little bit of something different for the video. I might get into archery. Um, yeah, good good thing to do. I don't know if I'd do it on my own, but you know, if I have people visiting or whatever, it's quite a nice little thing to do. Yeah, make some dinner now. Right, it's Sunday morning. The lime's had a few days to dry. Come on, cat. We've got to go do some lime washing. Come on, girl. Yeah, lime's had a few days to dry, so I'm going to get it lime washed today. It could do with a few more days really to dry, ideally. But I want to get it done because that is the plastering for the lower workshop done then and uh, keen to just have it out of the way. So I've got Dot with me today so I've got some more help and let's do some lime, lime, uh, lime plastering, lime wash. That's what we're doing. Are you menacing? Oh. Yeah, beautiful tiger. Camouflaged. Here is the uh, lime tank. See, I've still got quite a bit left. I had a ton in there. So I've still got two thirds of that, which is great. So, we're gonna scoop some of this out, make some lime wash. All right, let's try and get some of this. I'll try and do it one hand, show you what it's like. It's been maturing for quite a while now. So, oh no, that's a bit of a wet bit. It's been disturbed recently. But you get an idea of what it looks like. Should be a bit thicker than that, but where I've been scooping it out, it's been disturbed a bit. But yeah, that's not too bad. We're going to be adding water to it anyway. It's heavy. Should we put some of that in there? See if we can get a thicker bit for you. Cream cheesy bit. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. See, that's more like what it should be. Stay together in a clump like that. If you're mixing a, a lime plaster from lime putty, you want it to be more like that because then you don't, um, it doesn't end up, the mix doesn't end up too wet. Oh, that's heavy. Oi, out the way, out the way, cat. Go away. I don't want you to get that in your eye. Right, get a bit more of that there. Right, 
And we just add a little bit of water, a little bit of lime water, a little bit more. You want the consistency of paint basically. So there we go, that's about the consistency that I use, just kind of paint like. So if you think about a tub of paint that size, it's going to cost like 20 quid, 20 pounds, something like that. That's about a pound, so much better, much cheaper. That is a hop up, my dear. Just because it's not up to your professional standards, that is definitely a hop up. <laughs> nice white wall. Excellent. Looks a lot better in here now. Let's get a bit of a zoom back. Lovely. Okay, and that is it, all lime washed. So we've gone around the whole building now, uh, other than a tiny little bit around the side, which Dot's gonna do now while I sort this video out. Uh, because you gotta get right under it. It's a job for a nimble small lady. So yeah, really pleased. The whole thing's done. Just need to uh, wait for it all to dry and then wire brush all the logs. That's gonna be a job for another time. So we've gone all around here as well, all done. It, uh, it wasn't too long ago that that was all buried and that's the bit we had to dig out because of a uh, damp. But everything else is fine so far so that's why we're finalising this now. And just a view from away from it a little bit. Um, so everything's greening over nicely, it's all, uh, all lime washed and once we get all of this out of the way, once the top workshop's done, we have vegetable beds in front of it, it's going to be a very organic looking building. Okay, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching.